What exactly are the Van Allen belts? And why do people talk about them like there's some kind of radioactive force field around Earth? Well, the truth is both simpler and far more fascinating. Imagine Earth wrapped in two enormous donuts of charged particles, electrons, protons, ions, all trapped by our planet's magnetic field. That's the Van Allen radiation belts. They stretch thousands of kilometers above Earth, drifting and pulsing with energy from the sun. They aren't walls, they're zones. Zones where radiation is stronger, stranger, more unpredictable. But here's the part people get wrong. The belts aren't solid. They're thinner in some areas, thicker in others, and constantly shifting. And spacecraft have been passing through them for decades, robotic and human, without melting, frying, or vaporizing. Probes like Explorer, Pioneer, Voyager, New Horizons, and dozens of others crossed the belts on their way to the outer planets. They didn't just survive, they measured the belts from the inside. So yes, robots cross them all the time. They just don't hang out there. Radiation is dangerous only with long exposure, not during a quick high-speed pass. The Apollo missions? They crossed the belts too, and fast. On their trajectory, astronauts spent only minutes in the highest radiation zones. With shielding, orientation and speed, their exposure was lower than a medical CT scan. The belts are real. They're powerful. They're dynamic. But they're not impenetrable. They're just part of Earth's magnetic heartbeat. A reminder that our planet is constantly deflecting dangerous particles that would otherwise strip our atmosphere away. So if we can cross the belts, why do some people insist we can't? That's where the conspiracies begin. And that's where part two starts.